Dr. Thompson, is there a difference between men and women when it comes to a heart attack? There certainly is, Raina. There's a, there's a big difference. Uh, number one, as we all know, women are better than men. So <laughs> they can delay that. that yeah. You can go along with that. It seems like for reasons that no one is really absolutely mm -hmm. certain of, that women tend to be by age somewhat protected from heart disease until they get into the menopausal years. So men have a much higher frequency of heart attack in their 20s and 30s and early 40s than women. Okay. But women catch up and actually surpass men after menopause. And we don't know if that's all hormone related or not, but at any rate, uh, as women get older, they, the incidence of heart disease really starts to climb. And in fact, many more women will die after age 50 of heart disease than of breast cancer, ovarian cancer, or cancers in general. And the symptoms frequently are different okay. in men, men than women. They're much more subtle in women. Mm. Uh, women tend in general, Raina, as you know, to be more in tune with their body. Men tend to be a little more uh, uh, ignorant of, of changes well, in their body. don't they feel like they're more invincible too and women fret a yes, little bit more? Yes, that's right. They probably <laughs> feel a little more invincible and, and they don't want, I've had men come in and say, well, I didn't want to wimp out here, but uh, <laughs> okay. uh, when I started to faint, I thought maybe I should do something. <laughs> okay. So women uh, tend to be more, more uh, 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 in tune with their mm -hmm. bodies, so to speak, but they also tend to have more subtle symptoms. Okay. So women will tend to not, even though they're more in tune with their bodies, the symptoms frequently will be less intense than they are in men. Uh, oh. Maybe women are tougher than men, I don't <laughs> know that, but they tend to have uh, at times less uh, uh, intense symptoms. Many women will think they're just having a little indigestion or, or heartburn in their chest. That's what I was going to say, or heartburn. Right, or they'll think they're having some arthritic problems in their shoulder or arm and they're really having heart pain. So we encourage women when they, when they are analyzing mm -hmm. symptoms to be, to be alert for the fact that after age 50 they are at high risk for heart disease or at any age for that matter and uh, go in and get it checked out. I guess the key for men and women is if you are having any symptoms go in and get them checked out because heart disease is so deadly. Well, it's the number one killer of women after, yes, it after is. age Yes, 50? it is. It's the number one killer. And, and the other thing is we have so many wonderful technologies to treat people uh, initially with various medications and other techniques mm -hmm. to minimize the damage to their heart from the heart attack. But you have to get to the institution to do that or call 911. And uh, so women really need to be in tune with those, those symptoms. And not dismiss things. So right. And, and because women are a little older when, they, when they're more prone to get heart problems, a lot of the times uh, older women, like older men, will have more aches, more mm -hmm. pains. We all do. Right. Uh, they'll have maybe arthritis in their shoulders. So if their shoulder's mm -hmm. aching some, they may, they may say, well, it must just be bursitis or arthritis. Uh, but if it's unexplained, they really need to go and get that checked out quickly. Great. Thank you, Dr. Thompson.